Hello everyone and welcome to Aditya Kids Education and today we are going to start an interesting topic that is light sound and force so first is light we can clearly see things around us in daytime can you tell me why yes because at daytime there is enough light but can you see books kept on table in a dark room are you able to see it clearly no but why it is because of light yes light help us to see things around us and without light we cannot see anything around us next anything that gives light is called source of light like sun is the main source of light on the earth other sources of light are bulb torch candle lamps etc there are different kinds of objects in our surrounding and we divide objects into two groups and they are luminous object and non luminous object let us have a look on them in detail so first is luminous object all object that give out light or object that emit light on their own are called luminous object example the sun is the main source of heat and light on the earth other sources of light are candle bulb torch lamps etc next is non luminous object object that do not give out light or emits light are called non luminous object let's see some examples of non luminous objects and they are pencil football books tables stones bed chair etc we can see all these non luminous object when light falls on it dear children do you know the moon is also non luminous object yes now you will say that moon shines and also gives light at night yes it's true but the light you receive from the moon is not moon's own light moon gets its light from the sun and you know that when light falls on the non luminous object it is visible to us and we can see it next is traveling of light light travels in a straight line now how can we say this let's do an activity take a candle and light it take a straight hollow pipe point one end at the lighted candle and look through the other end of the pipe do you see light at the other end yes you will be able to see the light but now take curved pipe and now look through this curved pipe do you see light at the other end no you would not see any light at the other end of the tube why but it is because light travels in a straight line and light does not bend it can be blocked okay there are some objects that allow light to pass through them while some do not and because of this objects are classified as opaque object translucent object and transparent object so first we will see what are opaque objects objects that do not allow any light to pass through them are called opaque objects so let's do an activity take a cardboard and a torch switch on the torch you will see that the light goes straight to the cardboard now take a football 
and switch on the torch does the light hit the cardboard no why because ball blocks the light so ball is opaque object some other examples are book wood table chair etc next is translucent object object that allow some light to pass through them are called translucent object some examples of translucent objects are frosted glass colored plastic bottle and colored balloons okay all these objects are translucent object next is transparent objects objects that allow light to pass through them are called transparent objects some examples are clear water magnifying glass clear glass etc next topic is shadow to understand the concept of shadow let's do an activity first in a dark room focus light from the torch on a wall now hold a book in the path of the light you will see a dark area on the wall behind the book this dark area behind the book is called its shadow okay so what is shadow and how it is formed yes shadow is formed when object blocks the path of light it means shadow is formed when an object stops the path of light okay and the color of shadow is always black now at any time when we go out in the sun we can see our shadow on the ground can you tell me why yes this is because we block the light of the sun from falling on the ground okay outdoor shadows are longer in the morning and in the evening it means the size of a shadow changes from time to time during the day due to change in the position of sun like in the morning shadow is long in the noon time shadow is short and again in the evening shadow is long i hope you understand here so this was all about light and continuing with this in the next upcoming video we will learn about sound so if you like this video please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so that you can get the notification of my upcoming video till then stay safe and have a nice day